I want to also apologize for this mistake. I, I, I said in my first court that yes, I plead guilty. Uh, I did not intend to do this, but I understand the charges brought against me. And I just hope that that is also taken into account. Pleading yet again for her freedom, Brittany Griner appeared virtually Tuesday during her appeal. However, she must serve out her nine-year sentence. That was the decision a Russian court came to on Tuesday regarding the WNBA star's appeal, after she was found guilty of possessing and smuggling vape cartridges containing cannabis oil at a Russian airport. Griner has said she used medical cannabis to relieve pain from sports injuries. Russia prohibits both recreational and medical uses. The judge said the verdict was upheld without changes, except they did count the time she has already served in pretrial detention as part of the sentence. The two-time Olympic gold medalist was arrested February 17th at a Moscow airport, a week before Russia invaded Ukraine. Many view her as a pawn in the ongoing crisis between U.S. and Russian relations. A U.S. official in that courtroom called the sentence excessive and disproportionate. Of Griner's imprisonment, President Biden said Tuesday that his administration is in constant contact with Russian authorities to get Britney and others out, and that so far they haven't gotten much positive response, but they're not stopping. This news only increases the urgency of our efforts to bring Britney home. As Griner's fans, teammates, and family back home work to make sure she is not forgotten. We just need her on top of mind. We're all thinking about her, sending our love, our thoughts, and prayers, and we need action. We need to get her home. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.